Hi all and welcome back to the channel. Thank you all for subscribing and liking my videos. It's just it's phenomenal. So again, thank you. I'm going to thank you every time I'm afraid. I really do appreciate the support you're showing me. It's just, just brilliant. Um, today we're going to do some SSH secure keys so that you don't have to log in with a password. It's literally just double click in you go. So it's a nice and simple one. Shouldn't take too long. So let's jump into it. So first of all, what we need to do is, is log into our FreeBSD box, which I'm already done. So if we have a look at that. And the first thing we'll need to do is create our key pair. So we'll do SSH key gen minus type ED 25519 minus a 100 and it'll ask where we want to confirm that so there we go we'll confirm it to that file no passphrase you can put a passphrase in if you want for simplicity I'm not going to okay there we go so there's the key phrase uh, the key key pair So that's the private and the public key pair now created and they're saved in root.ssh. So if we change directory to see them, there they are. Perfect. So next what we want to do is we just want to make sure that the .pub, the, the public key, is in the authorized keys. So we'll do a cat for that. So cat. pub and we want to output it to authorized keys so now we should see authorized keys there perfect so for this to work we're doing this as root by the way so for this to work we're going to lower our security just a little bit and we're going to change the ssh D config file to allow root to log in. I've already done that on this one, but here it is. I don't generally recommend you doing this unless you know what you're doing. Is it like I said, it's lowering the security. So once you've done that, you'll need to just restart the SSHD daemon is service SSHD restart you're logged in on ssh it won't kick you out so don't worry okay so we're there we've got our private and our public keys and we've got our authorized keys so the next part to do would be to just cat the private key we just want to make sure that it's all there and there it is which is perfect that's what we want and we need to copy and paste that whole thing from hyphens all the way to the hyphens so we want that okay and we're going to use putty gem oh there's putty gem okay and it will say no key we're going to load and we're just going to to our desktop create a new file so there's our new file paste that in there and we'll load that file so there it is successfully imported the foreign key which is great click on OK and Patty Gem will populate this for you. So you can tell that I was logged in as root at testing. There's the fingerprint and that there's no passphrase. So now we all need to do is save the private key and we'll save it without the passphrase because there wasn't one. Keep it somewhere safe. I'll uh, can't make a new directory in here and we'll call it SSH. And we'll call it anything you like, doesn't matter. 
Um, let's call it uh, SSH key. So that should have now saved that. So let's find out, shall we? Leave that open. We'll go back to our party session. Right click and click on a new session. And we'll go to our key setup one. This is just what I've called it for this tutorial. It'll be whatever you set up. And then we'll go to SSH auth and we'll browse for our key. And I put it in documents, SSH, and there it is. Excellent. Go back up to our sessions and we'll save that. And we'll click open. What do you reckon is going to happen? Wow, works straight away. There you go. It's, it's really that simple. So let's come out of there. So what we can also do so that it doesn't ask for username, go to our key set up and load it. And go to. Where is it? There we go. Data put in root. Go back up and save that. Get now is if we go to new session, e setup, boom, no typing whatsoever. I find this very useful if it's just a, a local area network that this box is on. Saves faffing around with passwords all the time. Um, it's very helpful. So that's great. So now we've done that. So let's just make a few changes to our SSHD config. So we'll go etc sshd config. We want to look for password authentication. So there it is. So we want that on no. So I want to look for challenge response authentication. And we want to change that to no. Then we want to go use PAM. Change that to no as well. So once we've done that, come out of the SSHD config and restart the service again. Boof. Okay, so that's restarted. And the one thing I will just mention is don't forget to delete that unconverted private key that we copied, that new text file. This one, we don't need that. That can go away. Bye bye. Close this. So, what we get now, I go to a new session. So key set up, boom, straight away. Nice and simple. Nice quick one for you today, guys. Um, as always, I hope you find this extremely useful. It took me ages to find anything like this when I was first doing it, which was many, many moons ago. Like I said, it's coming extremely handy for me. So if you do like it, please give it a thumbs up and, uh, and share it and subscribe to the channel come back next time and we'll go through something else possibly continuing along the ssh lines and marrying this up with the 2fa all right um good to see you guys and uh, i'll see you in the next one take care